Don Peoples, Dead Boat, let's talk about it. And yeah, let's get into it. So, obviously, we've heard from the NBA on how they plan to conduct their vaccine jab mandates for NBA players. And with certain cities with the mandates already in, plan to enforce on players who don't take the jab. So Kyrie Irving, being one of the superstars in the NBA, has decided that upon his discretion and what he feels is best for him and his family, that he will not be partaking in the jab festivities in order to even play the profession that he's paid to play. So, I mean, this situation right here, man, is a slippery slope. Now, we got other NBA players, Hall of Famers. You know, everybody's pretty much chiming in on this situation and giving their two cent on what they feel the NBA should do against Kyrie Irving. My thing is, with this whole situation, this is a time that we should rally around Kyrie Irving for voicing his independence. But you got, like I said, NBA Hall of Famers like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, sellout Jabbar. This man pretty much is calling for all unjab players to be removed. This is a situation to where we are now totally saying F freedoms. What choices we have as individuals. And now we're prepared to just kick one of the top 15 best players out of the league because he states that he does not want the jab at this time. Now, you're going to get a lot of your celebrities, entertainers, like I told y'all before, as we start ramping up for trying to get at least 90% of the population, 95% of the population jabbed by the end of the year, you're going to see a lot of these celebrities now start to come out and do what master tell them to do, which is promote the jab. Now, We got a lot of these celebrities and basketball players. They're going to come at Kyrie Irving and others who decided not to go with the jab, like Andrew Wiggins. Salute to Andrew Wiggins. You know what I'm saying? Um, Like a Jonathan Isaac. You know, these dudes right here, they are what we need to be rallying around. I mean, I I really feel that, you know, the NBA players who are standing their rights, they have legitimate reasons why. And, you know, they're speaking to the people as such and letting them know, like, okay, we're not telling you not to do it, but we feel that, you know what I'm saying, this is why we're not going to do it. And I really feel that the brother Jonathan Isaac really gave a real intelligent response to the question when saying that, hey, he has antibodies. He's already had it. Um, Upon his research, this is what he feels is best for him and for his age range and his athletic build and how he takes care of himself. He's not high risk to pass away or have a severe reaction to the to the COVID. So these are players that are going to be coming out. And, you know, allegedly there's 90% of the NBA jabbed up. You know what I'm saying? So that leaves 10% as far as left that are not jabbed. So, you, you know, people like Al, uh, you know, Adam Silva, you know, the NBA commissioner. I mean, I just feel like it's crazy that 
cities are going to make a player like if like for instance a Kyrie Irving who if he plays at home games will will not be allowed to play at home games and obviously will not be getting paid either um for the games that he miss now i think each home team plays about 40 to 41 games so we have a situation to where you know this man is willing to put half of his salary. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to say, well, he's a millionaire and you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, he got it, but still, I mean, when you are wealthy, you have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of bills, you know, things of that nature. So for him to put half of his salary on the line to stand up what he believes in, we got to support him because you see your celebrities, your heroes, the ones that are willing to lead you down the stray. Stand right next to you like they're your brother when they really will stab you in the back. All these people <clears throat> are going to disassociate themselves with Kyrie, you know, because the master is going to tell them to, you know. So now we're we're setting it up for Kyrie to be blackballed out the game like how they did Colin Kaepernick in the NFL. You know, you got players like LeBron and, you know, all these different people, especially him, because he leads the NBA. You know, he said, you know, upon doing his research and stuff like that, he went on and did what was best for him and his family and went on and took the jab. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he, you know, did his research and this, that, and third. I, I don't think nobody can do appropriate research because none of the people are doctors or they're not the ones that's making it. But, Kyrie has his reasons for not wanting to go through with this. And I think that you're going to see an all-out assault on people such as him and others who go against the mandates set by the federal government. Like, it's crazy how we went from the bubble to now being in trouble because you're going to have basketball players to stand up <clears throat> and be willing to walk away. You know, you're going to have people that are going to be willing to risk it all. And then you're going to have majority though, who are going to go with the program and they're going to promote the jab and say that they got it knowing damn well, they probably didn't get it. I mean, I just want to know what is such the urgency you're doing lotteries, food giveaways, renting mortgage for a year. Uh, you know, just everything that you can do to get people jabbed up. And I just think certain people just ain't having it and they just going to stand their ground. So this is going to be a topic all year. I really think Kyrie is dug in to what he's going to do. But I also think people like LeBron or obviously a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who's a sellout, um, shouldn't be speaking on who should be, you know, removed and who should have the right to play. You know, all these people and players were, you know, playing with each other all last year, you know, no problems. Now you're telling me that he puts other players at risk? It doesn't make any sense. And then obviously with the stronghold lockdowns that have now took in place in San Francisco and New York, <clears throat> you know, these players won't be allowed to play in these arenas. But I think if we have more stars, right, the Kyrie Irvings, hell, the Bradley Bill, you know, the same thing. You know, these are stars. You know, Bradley Bill, top 15 player in the league. Kyrie Irving, top 15 player. You know, if we can get a couple of more stars to actually come out with the truth and be willing to stand on it, just like they stand on all that other shit that really didn't matter. I really think, man, that we can make some headway, man, and really bring awareness to the antibodies and other means of treatment, you know, and we can expose what's really going on because right now we got to rally behind our brothers that are standing up and are willing to risk it all. You know what I mean? So what the NBA is doing, I don't respect it. Um, 
I think their rules and stuff are not favored for the player. And I hope that the players union don't fold to none of these demands and really put up a fight for their players. But like I said, man, this is all a game. They're all going to do what they're told, you know. So remember the ones that went against the grain and told you to take that, take that. So when it's all said and done and they try to come back with the people, you already know how we going to play it. But I want y'all to get in the comment box, man. Let me know what y'all think. Do you feel that the NBA is about to blackball Kyrie Irving for his stance on the jab? And do you feel that players will come to his defense as far as the ones that took it and the ones that haven't took it and support his independency and his right to his body? So I want to hear what y'all think, man. Y'all let me know. Like, subscribe, share. Y'all know what it is, man. Every time I drop a video, hit the notification so y'all can be alerted. Tap into what I'm doing. It's your boy, Don Peoples. Dead boat. Gone.